Hey guys, it's Tadia and this is my 2001 Integra The Crosser. This video is going to be a short one because all I'm going to be doing is installing this Norfol that I have here for my CT Engineering icebox that I have in the car. The original one that I have actually got lost during a track day. I have no idea where it went and so I ended up contacting CT Engineering and they were nice enough to let me get a replacement. So that's what I'm going to be doing today and as you can see the car is already up on jack stands and I've actually been lagging on this for a couple months um, but I'm going to be tuning my car next week and so that's the reason why I have to have this on. So let's get to it. So the first thing you want to do is to remove one of the tow hook bolts so that you can install this bracket right here and this bracket actually holds the snorkel in place and so let me show you which bolt it is. So this is underneath the passenger side. So this will be the bolt that you'd be taking off. And as you can see here, this actually goes up to the ice box. And I'm missing the snorkel that's supposed to be right here. So you're going to need a 15 millimeter socket and a ratchet. The longer the better um, because you're going to need a lot of leverage for this. So. And there it goes. So we got the bolt off, now we're going to put the bracket on. Now before I'm going to tighten this bolt up, I'm going to put on the snorkel so that I know where to actually position this bracket. Now we can put the snorkel on. So now I'm going to use this metal clamp right here and put it over the snorkel so that I can put everything in place. Okay, now I'm going to wiggle this thing in like that. Now that the snorkel has been installed, you want to make sure that the bracket is on the right position. So that would be something like that. Because you want to make sure that it's touching the snorkel before you slide the clamp over it. Just like that. So that's pretty much where you want it to be. So now we can start securing this bolt back in and finally secure the clamp after that. So now you're going to use the 15 millimeter socket and the ratchet again to tighten the bolt. So the last thing you need is a screwdriver so that you can tighten down the screw metal clamp and then you'll be done. So it's pretty snug right now. Just want to make sure that it does not really moving and it's pretty secure to the bracket that's right over here so looks like it's pretty good I'm probably just gonna give it one more turn it should be good you don't want it too tight because you don't want to crush this thing uh, the snorkel I mean and uh, you want to make sure it's, um, it's also pretty even all around you don't want it to be slanted so it looks pretty even to me from what I can see so I guess we're done. So this is the snorkel after installation. 
Some people may refer to this as the velocity stack, which is also correct because the function of the snorkel is actually to smooth out the air coming in to the intake system. Special thanks to Nate from CT Engineering, and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, stay tuned! Bye!